Hello everyone, I'm Beastarly14. Today I'm going to show you 15 new mods released recently that's available for Minecraft version 1.16.5 and 1.18, Forge and Fabric Loaders. Each mod's respective mod loader and available version will be in the title screen of each mod. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so the first mod that we have is Antique Shotgun. This mod adds a few new ranged weapons into the game, along with a new pillager type that appears in raids. This pillager deals huge amount of damage over short distance, so be careful around this guy. The next four mods are from the same author and series, so I'll just clump them together. The first one, Goblins Community, spawns goblins in these structures. You can trade with them by giving them iron ingots. Except for the zombie variant, these goblins are neutral creatures that have different traits depending on their variants. Some of them can trade you their goblin bomb, and some can be tamed with wild berries. Kobolds community adds kobolds that reside in underground structures like these. They accept emeralds for trades, and are neutral creatures with 7 variants. Ogre community adds ogre and their dwellings into Minecraft. You can't really trade with these guys, but you can make use of their drops, which are ogre skins and bones that can be used to make a better version of iron armor with a smithing table. Be careful when you're fighting these guys though. They cannot be damaged by arrows and tridents, and they deal a hefty sum of damage up close. The last community mod, Trolls Community, adds trolls and their tents into the game. You can trade with them by smacking them with a gold ingot. They might steal it and give nothing back. Or sometimes they might feel bad about it and give you something nice in return. But either way, they can get hostile with you, so be careful around them. Alright, after that we have Verger. This mod overhauls vanilla biomes and adds more details such as rocks, plants, and blocks into the world generation that just makes these biomes a whole lot more vibrant. Coming up next is Human Companion. This mod adds a bunch of NPCs that you can come across in your world. They are generally in need of food and should you give them some of what they need, they will then become your companion. You can access their inventory and give them different weapons and food items. You can ask them to hunt for animals, attack mobs, or stay in an area. Overall, it's just a really nice mod that makes the world feel less lonely. The next mod that we have is Helpful Fairies. This mod adds in magical beings that help you automate certain tedious tasks. To get started, you'll need to find the Capris tree. To obtain a sapling of the tree, first you need to use a shear on the flowering leaves. Then place the dropped woodling into the soil and wait for it to grow. You will need to give it a bottle of water every day for 3 days to keep it hydrated. After the third day, it will be grown into a juvenile, which can be either used to make a fairy or sheared to get the sapling. Before you summon your first fairy, make sure that you have a fairy lantern nearby, which can be crafted like so. If you don't have one nearby, the fairies will not stick around the area. Fairies will pick up nearby items and take them to the container in the area. Make sure that the container has an item frame indicating the item to put inside. If you want the fairy to harvest certain crops, simply right click the fairy with the crop item. Overall, I would say this is a very nice and simple automation mod. Alright, after that we have quite a special mod called Oculus. It's basically the Iris Shader mod but ported over to Forge. I don't usually cover performance mods in these videos, but seeing as a mod like this has been something that I've been waiting for for ages, I decided to share it with you guys in case some of you have been waiting like I did. Be sure to use it with Forbidden though if you want to have the maximum performance. YDM Scorpion is a simple mod that adds scorpions into the game. These scorpions vary in different biomes and dimensions, but they all barrel underground during daytime and have particles above ground to indicate their presence. When they get close, they will unbarrel and start attacking you like normal mobs. They sometimes drop their stingers on death, and it can be used to brew a potion that allows you to poison your attackers. Overall, it's quite a nice mod. Alright, so the last Forge mod that we have is Soft Drink. This mod allows you to store bubbled water and sparkling water into bottles. Getting air bubbles from soul sand and water will give you bubbled water, and on the other hand, doing so from magma block and water will give you sparkling water. Bubbled water allows you to float much faster, while sparkling water allows you to sink much faster. Now these drinks can be chilled using powdered snow in cauldron, and heated up using lava in cauldrons for longer duration effects. Overall, I would say this is a good addition that just makes sense to be in the game. So now let's move on to fabric. The first mod that we have is Earthbound. 
This mod adds two new creatures into the game. The first one, the Rubro, is a dangerous feline-like creature that dwells in caves. They can sometimes be found near redstone ores underground. In their regular state, they are neutral creatures. But once it finds itself to a redstone ore, they will start scraping the ore to charge itself. Once it is charged, it will start hunting for creatures that doesn't have redstone in hand or if they have just mined redstones recently. They have very high mobility and damage output, so your best bet is to seal yourself off when you see one. The second creature, the Caborania, is a tiny spider that is passive in nature. These creatures can be found in cold dens near savanna and mountain biomes. They will stick to any source of warm temperature, including lava, fire, or the player, and they will only leave when they find a better source or decided that they are warm enough already. They will drop cold chunks when over heated, which are very good fuel sources, but the chunks will also burn players who tries to touch them. You can probably set up some elaborate system to make these little guys generate infinite fuels for you, but I just don't have the patience for it. Overall, it's a really detailed mod with a few nice features. The second fabric mod that we have is Llama Rama. This mod adds more types of llamas and llama related content into the game. Firstly, there's now the hay on the stick, which can be used to command llama's movement. There's also new types of llamas such as the woolly llama, the bumble llama, and the mossy llama. Each type of llama has their own unique quirks. For example, bees can pollinate on the bumble llamas and store nectars on its back. There's also a new wandering trader called the caravan trader. He's usually accompanied by multiple llamas and won't disappear after a while as the wandering trader does. After that we have Mage Hand, this mod adds in magical entities that can help you with automation or defenses. To get started, you will first need to find a hostile hand in the nether dimension. They are quite evasive and powerful, but if you manage to beat it, it will have a chance to drop the Mage Hand Essence. With that, you can craft a Bone Hand which can further be turned into a Flesh Hand, then into either a Copper, Iron, Gold, Diamond or Amethyst Hand. The copper hand collects all items nearby and stores it inside the chest that is spawned in. The amethyst hand does the same thing but allows you to filter or filter out specific items to pick up. The iron hand can be given a sword to defend the area. The gold hand can help with crop automation. And lastly, the diamond hand can point you to the nearest ore. Overall, it's a very simple but well thought out mod that makes automation a whole lot easier. The last fabric mod that we have is Vanilla Plus mod. This mod adds a bunch of blocks and decorative blocks into the game that fits in Vanilla Minecraft almost seamlessly. There are new tables, hollowed locks, vertical slabs, lantern, music disc, and much more. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.